Hello, this is Robert Kiyosaki, and unless you've been living under a rock, you may have heard that Bitcoin is crashing, you know, the stock market is crashing, real estate's going up and all this, and uh, I can't believe the bullshit I hear out there, you know. Just because Bitcoin is crashing, people say, well, it's because China has uh, done said something against Bitcoin. They've outlawed it or something. That's bullshit. China has been outlawing Bitcoin since 2013, 2014, 2015, and I think in 2016 they outlawed Ethereum or something like that. And then they came after other cryptos. So this idea that Bitcoin is crashing because China is a lie to you. And if you believe that, you're really stupid. I mean, you've really got to know your facts before you invest. Also, people are blaming Elon Musk for saying something. Elon Musk is a very smart boy. I mean, if he is out, he is dumping Bitcoin, I don't, I don't know what he's doing because he doesn't ask me, but maybe he's really smart. So this is my way of saying is that one of my best tweets is, I'm still investing in Bitcoin, but I'm not stupid enough to buy it at high prices. So in the next couple of three days, I'm gonna be launching probably a 30 minute to a 45 minute uh, talk on why I continue to invest in Bitcoin, but it's not just Bitcoin. It's about the whole market from the big picture. Bitcoin is this big. It's dinky. It's, you know, I was talking to all these bunch of Bitcoin guys and one guy's a billionaire. He's all excited. Other guys are millionaires, but their brains are this big. Bitcoin is very small. It's the new thing. It's important. But you've got to get smarter if you're going to be an investor in Bitcoin. So I still am. I'm still very bullish on Bitcoin. So in a few days, I'll be releasing a longer video explain why. Because if you bought the BS that Bitcoin's crashing because of China, well, China's always trashing Bitcoin. So is Peter Schiff. It's still, so what? So anyway, I'm going to be talking about the whole market, the big market. And for those of you who have read my book, this is book number two. This is the cash flow quadrant. Most of the guys are over here. Employees who went to school, got a job, and these small time Bitcoin traders or stock traders. That's not what I do. So at the Rich Dad Company, we teach people to be on the B side. B stands for big business, 500 employees or more. But B also stands for brand. You know, guys like Warren Buffett, don't invest in small thinkers. They invest in brands. So that's what Rich Dad stands for. Now I'm not, and, and I don't have stocks. And I'm gonna explain why on the next upcoming video, which will be about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I will give you the big picture of money of which Bitcoin is that big. But I'm very bullish on it. I'm optimistic on it. And to me, it's the currency of the future. But you've got to think bigger, not small stuff. You know, I was talking to this guy, he, he, was, he had made about $10 million in Bitcoin. And he was terrified. You know why he's terrified? Because he got lucky. He just happened to buy some and he became a millionaire. Now as Bitcoin crashes, and if you're gonna get out of this thing, you better start thinking bigger on for this side. So in my upcoming video in a few days from now, stay tuned from Rich Dad, I'm gonna explain why I'm very optimistic about Bitcoin, but it's the bigger picture. It's what these guys look at. Not the reason he's so afraid is if Bitcoin gets wiped out, he doesn't know how to make it back. He got lucky. You know, a lot of people got lucky. I wasn't that lucky. I've been a complete screw up most of my life, life but that's why I got smarter. I made a lot of mistakes and everybody says, oh, don't, the you know, school teachers, these losers on this side, go to school, get a job, don't make mistakes. I mean, how in the world do you learn if you don't make mistakes? That's why school teachers are poor, 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 poor. That's my poor dad. So ladies and gentlemen, coming up next few days, stay tuned. I'm going to go into the bigger picture of the market of which Bitcoin is that big, that big. And you guys think it's everything. So I'm very optimistic on Bitcoin. And as the price comes down, I get more excited. 
I get happier. And if you don't know why, stay tuned, listen in. Another thing too is ask you this question. Why does a stock market crash but, only, but goes right back up? And when Bitcoin crashes, it goes all the way down. Why is that? And that's one of the questions I'll be answering in the next upcoming video. But if all you want to know is because your small peanut brain is just going to look at Bitcoin, 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 or Dogecoins, or Ethereum, or Cardano, whatever the heck you guys are looking at, don't tune in. So in the next few days, I'll be going into the bigger picture about stocks, bonds, and ETFs. You know, Peter Schiff, good friend of mine, he trashes Bitcoin. What an idiot. He's a good friend of mine. But all he knows is gold and silver. And there's other guys like, you know, Dave Ramsey, another friend of mine. He says, live debt free. Now, why would you do that? Why would you live debt free when the, when the whole dollar system is debt? And that's why I love Bitcoin is because in 1971, the US dollar became debt. And I started buying gold in 1972 when it was $35 an ounce. I've seen it go up to 850, crash, you know, hit 200, 300, climb to 1900 and crash. That's real investing. You guys with your small little brains and pay attention. The reason I'm excited about Bitcoin crashing is I'm gonna buy more, but I'll be telling you why in the next, next upcoming video. This is a very exciting time, but if you've got a small, poor day, or you think that going to school and becoming a doctor or a lawyer is smart, I can't help you. Your brain is too small. So for those who want a bigger picture of why I'm investing in Bitcoin, why I'm excited about the price coming down, stay tuned. And remember this, when they tell you Bitcoin is crashing because of Elon Musk or China, they're lying to you. The real problem isn't Elon Musk or China. The real problem is the Federal Reserve Bank and the US Treasury. So if you're ready to find out more from the Rich Dad side, <clears throat> which is this side, the B and the I side, this stands for insider. I don't own stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or ETFs. I don't touch them. They're criminal enterprises from Wall Street. But I like it over here on the B and the I side. If you like the E and the S side, don't bother tuning in. So thank you for listening to this little rant of mine. And for those who are interested in looking at the bigger picture, Stay tuned in the next few days. My next video will be coming out. Why I'm more optimistic than ever before on Bitcoin. And there's one more thing. If you really want to find out more, The Economist just came out with this article here, GovCoins. The reason China is saying, well, I don't know what they said about Bitcoin, is because they're going to government coins. And that's going to change the world. When the U.S. Federal Reserve prints a U.S. dollar Bitcoin or whatever they call it, it's going to change the rules of banking. So that's why you better stay attuned to the bigger picture, not the small size brain people. Thank you very much.